Oh, it's time to get chickity again. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Final Space Season 3. I actually did not know this was coming out. So when I saw it on Netflix, I was like, wait, what? The third season's out? Admittedly, I was very interested to see where the show was going to go. I incredibly loved the first season. The second season, while having definitely some deterrence in it, with some unnecessary characters and a little bit of padding to try and make up for that 13 episode count, it still was a very enjoyable experience. Lisa say Season 3 is a big improvement from season two in my opinion. While this does have the same kind of padding sort of storyline elements that was in season two, all of that padding essentially is backstory about all of the characters in this show. Ash, Avocado, Quinn, even Fox all get a lot of development by learning more about their pasts and that is all intertwined really well with the overall story. The season finds the crew in Final Space, trying to save Quinn from Final Space poisoning, all the while avoiding the Lord Commander who has returned, and Invictus, the big evil demon thingamabobby that wants to basically destroy and conquer the entire universe. The visual imagery in this show is once again really on point. There's not as much science stuff in this one as there was in the last two seasons. There was always kind of that visual element of science, whereas in this one it is really stepping into the sci-fi fantasy element of it, but don't take that as any kind of negative to it. It is all the more visually enjoyable to see these really crazy and out of this world kind of visual representations of these elements of a fictitious universe. The humor is still very much on point as always. That never falters. I'm always happy about that. The one thing that was slightly absent from season two, but very much so in season one, and thankfully returns in season three, is the heart-wrenching moment. Something I said about the first season was the show can go back and forth between laughing your guts up to literally crying your eyeballs out. This season does it in folds. There are so many deaths that happen. There are so many surprises that do not go in the favor of our characters. I love stories where characters fail and when they constantly find themselves in predicaments that don't always go their way that always makes you feel more connected with the characters and that happens in spades in this season especially with some inner turmoil ash is really a focused character in this one kind of going along the same routes of Raven from Teen Titans in terms of that duality of good and evil going on with her and the season definitely ends on a cliffhanger with her as well as the entire crew. There was a lot of episodes where I was jaw dropped. There was a lot of episodes where I was emotionally impacted. There was a lot of episodes that made me laugh my guts up. It's got some pretty awful hand humor that you don't expect but it's always well timed. For instance, Bolo, a giant titan with six arms and this weird Lovecraftian kind of design to him is voiced by Keith David and he at one point does a fist bump with Mooncake. And I laughed. So it all flows well and it really reminds me of what made me love the first season so much. Is there possibly a little bit too much padding here and there? Technically these padding episodes is when the characters get to a certain spot and nothing happens until this one convenient issue is solved. Sometimes that deus ex machina kind of element does come into this show, but not enough to deter it. Overall, Final Space Season 3 is definitely a step up from the second season in my opinion, and it makes me all the more excited for season four. Whereas season one, I kind of was a bit hesitant because the stakes I thought were set so high. I even mentioned that in my first review, but the stakes are set so fucking high in this season that nothing that they do afterwards will probably equal or uh, 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 top it. Well, now after watching the third season, season one me's opinion can go kiss my ass because I keep forgetting that Earth got swallowed because there's so many more pressing issues happening in this season. So in the end, I am going to give Final Space Season 3 a 6 out of 7. If you guys haven't gotten into this show, very, very much so you should. It is a very enjoyable, unique, artistic show. So yeah, definitely check this show out. I would highly recommend it. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise. See you guys next time.